of it one time. More than two hours ago, one Carol time. Crisp began her search for this lonely burial. It's pointing the right way, and it's fenced off. This is it. Beside it's that of an infant who died in the late 1940s. Oh, yes, I remember when the baby was buried, yes. Was it a little girl? I believe it was a girl, yeah. Because I was, I was pretty small back at that time, you know. And Carol we, records the site for a book of cemetery enumerations. I had finished walking the River River Trail, which goes from the Ohio River to the Mississippi River. It's about 167 miles long. And I had a GPS, and I wondered what else I was going to do with my GPS. And one day I found a cemetery, and I thought, wow, this is cool. So I put it in my GPS, and I thought, I wonder if there's any more cemeteries in Pope County. So I started looking for them, gathering old maps, talking to people. And um, that was about six winters ago, and I have 278 cemeteries now. And um, it was called the Ross property. It can be frustrating work, as observed one morning in search of a cemetery. And we looked all over back here. There's tons of cedar trees, which are good indicators. But there's no other indicators, and we couldn't find any depressions or field stones that would mark two graves. So we're going to have to start making phone calls and find somebody that knows. Very rarely do I give up. I did have to give up on one that I went and looked for 13 times. In the early 20th century, families occupied homesteads on every 40 acres in many parts of what is now the Shawnee National Forest. Those families left behind burials. And a lot of times these little cemeteries were lost to the public because they were not carried forward on subsequent deeds. So when we go back and we look and Carol comes up with the name, we generally can find that somewhere in the chain of title was this family. I've had people cry because they've, I have found someone they never could find back in these abandoned cemeteries. And so that, it just gives people puzzle pieces. Hard telling that what else would come up here. Yeah. It's a treasure hunt for me and I get to be outside. And then it, it passes on the help to someone else because it helps them with their research. And there's something about doing your genealogy that gives you a basis of who you are. It just makes you feel like you belong.